Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trumpixel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use if statements in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have names of five students and their marks in one of the subjects and what I want to do is I want to analyze these numbers and if it is more than 35 more than or equal to 35 then I want to enter pass here else I want it to enter fail and I want to use VBA to do this and similarly here I want to enter the grade and here is the grading mechanism I have if the number is less than 35 then it should be fail F if it is 35 to 50 then D and then C B and A now let's see how we can do this using VBA and using if condition so I would press alt F 11 it opens the VB editor here I have module 1 inserted now let's write the code and the sub here would be pass or fail and what I need to do is when I am in this cell when I am in the active cell I want to go to the left and check this number if it is more than 35 or equal to 35 then I want pass here else I want fail so what I would do is first let me show you how to go to the left and uh, check for the value I would type active cell dot offset and here row offset would be 0 because I want to be on the same row but I want to go to the left so the column offset would be minus 1 and then I type value so this would give me this value and now I would put the if condition I would say if this value is less than 35 then and now I type the condition that I want here so I have then and then I go to the next line I'm indenting this code because it's easier to read and manage and I would say active cell dot value is equal to fail because this is less than 35 else and now I type active cell dot value is equal to pass and finally we need to close this if statement by using end if now let's go through this code quickly I'm saying if this value here which is to the left of the active cell is less than 35 then it should enter fail here else it should enter pass now let's see what happens when we run this code When we run this code it enters pass here if I come to this cell and I again run this code it would enter pass let's again analyze the third condition I would press alt F 11 to go to the VB editor here I play and it enters fail so this is working fine and you can see what it's doing it's going to the left it is checking this number and then it is entering it based on the criteria so this is how you can use an if then else condition you need not have different lines here you can also have a single line so what I can do here is I can say if this is the condition then and else and I can have everything in a single line like this and if this is the case then I don't need to put if condition end if here let's try this I would come here I would go to the VB editor and now I run this and it enters pass another thing that you uh, should know is that if you have a long line and you want this to come to the next line but you still want this to be treated as a single line what you can do is, is you can use spacebar and underscore and then you can hit enter and when you use this then VBA considers this to be a single line so let's see if this works I come here I go to VB editor here and I run this and it does work so this is a separator you can consider this as uh, a continuation where spacebar underscore uh, if you use this this is at the last of this line then this would be considered as a part of this earlier line only so you can use this as well and if you don't want this if you want the readability to be easier then you can obviously create uh, different lines so it's easy to understand and write the code now we can also use nested if conditions and that's what we are going to use when we uh, look for the grades here so let's delete this entire thing and start afresh here I would type if and I would come to this cell because I would be entering these numbers here so here I would type if active cell dot offset 0 comma minus 2 because now I'm going two columns to the left dot value oops dot value is less than 35 then 
the condition here is active cell dot value should be equal to F so this grade F grade is entered else if and in earlier condition in earlier example we used only else because there was only two criteria to judge whether it is it is more than 35 or not but in this case there are multiple conditions that need to be tested so I'm using else if and this is kind of nesting if uh, not exactly nesting if but when you have multiple conditions you can use if and then you can use else if and then you can keep on using else if when till all the conditions are met so in this case let me copy this expression so that it saves me some typing time and I would say if this is less than 50 then active cell dot value is equal to D else if and again I would paste this if this is less than 70 then I would come here active cell oops dot value is equal to C and again else if if this is less than 80 then active cell dot value is equal to P and now I don't need to use else if I can simply say else active cell dot value is equal to A and now I need to end the if condition so what we have done here is we have so many conditions to test we started with if and we checked if this is less than 35 then F else if it is less than 50 now when we come to this condition we can be sure that it is already tested say for example if the number is 33 then any number which is less than 35 would be uh, followed by this condition so this condition uh, would be executed and then it would end but if this is more than 35 then it would come to this condition and if it is more than 50 then it would come to this condition so we have arranged these numbers in an ascending order and now let's see what happens when we run this code so I come here to on this cell D2 and now when I run this code it enters C because the number is between 50 and 70 when I come here and I execute this code it enters A because it is between 80 to 100 and this is working let's try once again if I run this it enters F which is right so this is how you can use uh, multiple if conditions let me show you one more way of uh, using it which is the nested if condition in this case let's say I go for else then I can start a new if condition so I can now here say let me paste this and I can say if this is less than 50 so I'm not using else if but I'm using else and then I'm using a new if condition now again there is no uh, benefit of using one uh, method over the other it's completely your personal preference but this is one way you can use this and here I can simply say active cell dot value is equal to D and then again you can go to else and then again an if condition and then you can again type this here and then you can keep on going so this is again another way of doing it whatever method you find better you can use it it's again as I mentioned completely a personal preference so this is how you can use if condition and uh, you need all you need to know is that here is where the condition goes and you can check for this condition now the final thing that I want to talk about is uh, multiple conditions that you can test within one single if statement so what you can do is you can use and or or statements so uh, let's say uh, let's delete everything here and let's say we are only looking for pass or fail so let me delete everything here and what I'm testing here is whether the student has marks more than 35 or not but let's say uh, Joe has some disciplinary action pending against him and no matter what his marks are he would anyway be failed so in that case uh, we can use an OR condition and let me show you how to use it here the first thing I test is if active cell minus 1 because we'll go to the uh, one column to the left is less than 35 OR active cell dot 
offset 0 comma minus 2 dot value is equal to Joe then and let me maximize it so that you can have a look at the entire line what I'm saying is if active cell uh, the number here in this case if uh, this column which is uh, to the left of this cell the active cell and the value there is less than 35 or this is equal to Joe if any of these conditions are true then enter fail here and what we'll do is we will write the condition here so let's maximize this then active cell dot value is equal to fail else active cell dot value is equal to pass now let's check for this let me end it with an end if otherwise it will give an error and now let's check let's check this so we'll run this here and as soon as I run this it enters fail however the first condition is not met which means that this condition fails and it should have ideally moved on to else condition but this condition does match which means that this is equal to Joe so if any of these conditions match then this statement is executed similarly you can use an AND statement here so you can use OR and AND as well within IF conditions uh, so this is how you can use IF conditions in VBA in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day